Good morning, madam. Today, my group will present about Tionam Company. My name is Norai Faizati Binti Razwan and my group's members are Nur Safwati Ashikim Binti Mak Faizal 1045, Sumadi Paramasivam 1057, um, me Norai Faizati 1063 and Siti Shaira Najwa 1058. Okay, next slide. Good morning, madam. My name is Mudi Parmasiram. So the company that we choose is uh, Tiong Nam. Hong Ong Yong Yong. He is the managing director of Tiong Nam Logistic Holding. Next. Background of Tiong Nam. In 1975, Tiong Nam started out as a small scale cargo business handling consolidated cargo and micro distribution within Peninsula Malaysia. In 1978, Tiong Nam began its expansion plan and became an incorporated enterprise. In 1984, Tiong Nam expanded across the border into Singapore and started its cross-border transportation and customs brokerage services. In 1992, not only did they get listed on KLSE, they also started their refer trucking division and extended their reach into Thailand. In 2010, Tiong Nam ventured into commercial and industrial property development for warehouses and factories. In 2013, their first ASRS automated automation storage and retrieval system warehouse open. In 2017, their solution to e-commerce logistics instant commencement operation. Tiong Nam also opened their Vietnam and China branches and started their Asian across border tracking deliveries. Next. Okay, for the operation. Tiong Nam operate a large fleet of haulage truck, primer mover, car carry and trailer that are equipped to move 20 to 40 foot container. Tiong Nam also operate over 200 units of material handling equipment such as forklifts and rich truck to facilitate warehouse operation, operation. Substance supplies chains method that we choose is e-commerce. With this uh, the company already made this run of the cross-border trucking route in Asia. The commerce of operation is set to be in IQ18. Leading up to this, Tiongnam has newly established distribution center in Shenzhen, Hanoi and Yangon, with one more center in Laos, expect to be established in year 2008. The company seeks to use this as a platform to further step into e-commerce last meal to deliver segments, making them a one-stop center for e fulling service, especially for e-commerce firms in China looking to sell goods into Malaysia and Singapore. While we're expecting learning impact to be minimal of internet phase due to this station, we also believe this venue carry great potential, given, given that Tiong Nam is one of the only few players to have direct tracking route between China and Malaysia and Singapore. We expect CapEx outlay of the intentional operation years to be RM10 million, mainly for the sale of office as well as a new warehouse to support this operation, say Kanaga Research. Okay, next is demand and forecasting planning. Okay, Gyeongnam Logistics Holding Berhad allocated RM200 mil in capital expenditures, which is CAPEX, to expand its logistic and warehouse service division to Qatar to increasing demand in Malaysia and Saudi Asia. In a company, press statement on September 26, it was mentioned that 
90% of the capex will be allocated for the construction of a new 190,000 SQ warehouse in Senoko, Singapore. In addition to another two warehouse to be located in Pasir Gudang and Kempas Johor, which are currently in planning stage. The three warehouse are expected to be complete in the financial years ending March 31, 2022, which is the code is FY22. The remaining 10% will be slated for two smaller warehouse and related supporting buildings to be situated in Johor as well as new trucks for the logistic business, which are also expected to be incurred in FY22. Together with existing warehouse in Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand and Laos, the new warehouse will increase in the group's total warehousing capacity by more than 10% to exceed 6 million SQ feet from the previous 5.6 million SQ feet, the company said in the statement. Meanwhile, the group's logistic and warehousing service Segment so revenue increased 1.5% to RM 547.7 mil in the preceding financial year and March March 31, 2020, which is the code is FY20, driven by the addition of new total logistics customers in addition to grow in demand for deliveries and warehousing from existing customer. Okay, next is transportation. With over 1,500 trucks of various capacities, including open, box or bonded and refrigerated containers, Tiongnam is the largest trucking company in Malaysia today. Thus, it is able to transport any types of goods Start at varying temperatures from dry to chill and even frozen. Tiongnam owns a large fleet of haulage trucks, prime, mo prime movers, car carriers, and trailers that can move 20 to 40 foot containers. It also owns over 200 units of material handling equipment such as forklift and rich trucks that facilitate warehouse operation. Okay. Mm. Beside domestic transportation, box, box, their teams are drivers mm. and on-ground staff are also highly experienced in providing cross-border service between Singapore, Malaysia and Malaysia, Thailand, in demontable goods, especially to Singapore, especially avoid any unne unnecessary extra handling of goods. It also provides crane service at the relevance custom checks point to transfer box container onto trucks belonging to its affiliate, affiliate of that country which then transport customers goods in perfect condition to its destinations. Next, okay, this is example box truck, river trucks, air, air conditioned trucks. Uh, next is curtain cider, low loader and canvas or cargo trucks. Okay, for the warehousing, Tiongnam warehouse service are fully integrated with their delivery service. Their large fleet of truck or very capacity ensure that goods are delivered on time or ahead of schedule. The warehouse quality is a state of the art equipment with CCTV facility that enable us 
to remote monitor for all activity in their warehouse. Kiongnam equipment is continuously upgraded to enable them to stay relevant and to en enable customers to enjoy the highest quality of the service in the market. The inventory management and order process. The type of system. Type of system that Kiongnam uh, use is dedicated IT team is fully committed in providing and supporting their client custom recruitment through their adaptable warehouse management system, WMS, and integrate logistic management system, ILMS. System function. The function in the system incorporate functions such as RF, barcode scanner, RFID reader, daily stock synchronizations, electronic inbounding and outbounding confirmation, product conversions, extension handling, and real-time investory status. It has an outstanding track record since it implied implementation in 2002. For their delivery service, Tionam warehouse service are full in integrate with delivery service. It has a large list of trucks of very capacity ensure that the that goods are delivered on time and ex extending the customer service expectation. The CCTV facility is where its warehouse security instead of the art equipment equipped with CCTV facility that enable them to remotely mo monitor and view their warehouse. They further constantly upgrade their equipment to always increase current market service to their company. Material handling and packaging. Tiernam also operate over 200 units of material handling equipment such as forklift and rich trucks to facilitate warehouse operation. To avoid any unnecessary costs from the extra handling of goods, they provide crane services at the relevant custom checkpoints to transfer our box containers onto trucks belonging to our affiliates in that country. Next. Should a sustainable method either good or not? Uh, Tiang Nam is using uh, e-commerce method. Yes, this is a yes, this is a good method. In our opinion, Tiang Nam logistic holding Berhad will be one of one of the first movers as the group has already kick started its investment in these areas. However, shareholders have to bear with the short-term losses until Tiong Nam achieves the critical mass. We believe why Tiong Nam is slowly reaping the enormous opportunities in e-commerce and cross-border road transportation, and we see great opportunities to accumulate Tiong Nam shares at this level. Tiong Nam also keep on grow even it face many challenges. Next is challenges faced by Tionam. Tionam Logistic Holdings Berhad may meet several challenges in supply chain and logistics management in future. First, Tionam might face difficulties due to the expense delivery service to e-commerce companies may be future challenges to Tionam. Nowadays, consumers are become more and more likely to consume through the internet and cause e-commerce became more familiar. Therefore, the online retailer may send their goods through their own shipping company in future. For example, the electric and furniture company Sangheng will send products through Sangheng Shipping as uh, Serendian Berhad within 44 hours to their customers. Besides, even in China, the Alibaba Group is snapping up the stakes in logistic companies to complement overall business. Second, as the technology nowadays keep updating in a rapid speed, so Tionam may face difficulties in improving their technology infrastructure and equipment. This is because of this is because of to improve their technology infrastructure and equipment, 
Tionam has to spend a lot of money and by the same time, the technology may depreciate, depreciate very soon and be replaced. So the last one is recommendation to company for future purpose. In order to spend for latest technology, Tionam can try to reduce the cost of updating the technology to stay competitive with their competitors, such as improving their transport by buying more trucks and purchase of improve their warehouse management. And Tionam, also, uh, Tionam company also should do some researching institutional ownership because this is a good way to gauge and filter a stock expected performance. The same can be achieved by studying analysis sentiments. There are plenty of analysis covering the stock, so it might be worth seeing what they are forecasting. So that's all for our group today. Thank you.